Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at a head-to-head -head comparison of the TIGWELD 200SX by Longevity Welding and we're going to take a look at the Easy TIG 165i by Hobart. So hang out for a few minutes and let's take a look at some of the comparisons and some of the features that these machines offer. Now let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison of the setup of the face of the machines. So on the left here we see the TIGWELD 200SX and on the right we see the Easy TIG 165i. So the first thing that I notice is is that there's quite a few more controls and operator adjustments on the TIGWELD 200SX versus the Easy TIG 165i. So on the 165i essentially we have one knob that we can adjust to select amperage and we have one toggle switch that we can use to adjust either between AC or DC depending upon the type of material that we're welding on. Over here on the TIGWELD 200SX it's much more versatile and it has a few more features on it that don't exist on the Easy TIG 165i. So there's a pre-flow and a post-flow control that doesn't exist over here on the Easy TIG 165i. Another effect or another knob that's available on the 200SX that's not available on the Easy TIG 165i is the AC balance or what's labeled here as the clearance effect the ability to turn up or turn down the amount of penetration on AC or turn up or turn down the amount of cleaning action on AC. Another feature that is not available on the Easy TIG 165i is the fact that it, this uh, TIG Weld 200SX can actually do stick welding as well. So we can see here that there is a stick welding port that the electrode holder can be installed on and using the combination of the ground clamp that we use for gas tungsten arc welding is capable of stick welding an entirely different process that's not capable on the Easy TIG 165i. You may have a TIG welding machine in your shop or at home that's capable of stick welding uh, and most constant current TIG welding machines are but for some reason this machine was designed to be a dedicated TIG welding machine and does not offer up any stick welding capabilities. A couple of other things that are different between the two machines has to do with the connections for the foot control. So the foot control connects using a uh, almost like a Cat5 or a computer internet uh, or uh, uh, cable connection here uh, and that plugs in and plugs out real easily and simply here uh, on the face of the machine um, and that's real nice and simple and that goes in and out. We can see on the TIGWELD 200SX there's a few more uh, uh, cables to connect here uh, when we use the pedal or the foot control. So that we also have the capability off of the TIG welding torch on this side that we can actually connect it in here and using the trigger on the torch itself can actually start and stop and initiate the arc. The TIG welding torch on the TIG Weld 200, or excuse me, the TIG Easy TIG 165i is just a dedicated torch here that has no button and no capabilities for starting and stopping the arc using the torch. So those are some of the differences between the two here are. The other thing is, is that the TIG welding torch can actually be very easily removed from the face of the machine here and disconnected and stored away where on the other hand the Easy TIG 165i these are hardwired in there and they're not capable being released or being removed from there without accessing the inside of the cabinet. So that does give us some versatility in the area of portability the fact that we can go in and we can remove some of these cables and store them away for use when we get ready to move our work location or work somewhere else. So that is one of the capabilities of the TIGWELD 200SX uh, that's not capable on the Easy TIG 165i. So I'm capable of removing all of the connections here where these are hardwired in and I can't do anything with them. So they do kind of stick out here a little bit and if I get into kind of a tight spot or something uh, I don't know how those will fare but if we crack or we break those we might have some issue 
uh, that we have to do some work on here. So once again, pretty simple layout on both machines, uh, but clearly the easy TIG 165i has less controls and less capabilities than the TIG Weld 200SX. Currently on Amazon.com I can purchase the Easy TIG 165i for $13.99. The TIG Weld 200SX is capable of being purchased for $8.99. So there's quite a bit more machine here in the TIG Weld 200SX as far as capabilities both in the TIG welding and an extra process we're capable of doing stick welding. Once again, the Easy TIG 165i is a dedicated TIG welding machine that's capable of only doing TIG welding and we can't do stick welding with it because it doesn't have connections that are capable of being removed and having a stinger or an electrode holder installed in its place. So another feature to take a look at on these two machines is the handles that we use to move them around. Both machines are under 50 pounds and they're easily transported to your nearest job site. The TIG Weld 200SX has a nice metal handle here on the top of the machine that we can pick it up and transport it around. On the other hand, the Hobart Easy TIG 165i has two tubular metal handles, one on the front and one on the back, that we can pick up the machine and move it around. So both machines are easily moved around, but the TIG Weld 200SX has only one handle, where the Easy TIG 165i has two handles to grip the machine and move it around. So another big comparison or big difference between these two machines is in the area of amperage and duty cycle. So the Easy TIG 165i is capable of up to 165 amps. The TIG Weld 200SX is capable of up to 200 amps. The Easy TIG 165i has a 20% duty cycle at 150 amps. The TIG Weld 200SX has a 60% duty cycle at 200 amps. So quite much more bang for our buck on the TIG Weld 200SX in the area of amperage and duty cycle. Also another thing to compare between the two machines is, is the Longevity 200SX is capable of operating in 110 volt mode where the Easy TIG 165i from Hobart is only a 220 or 230 volt machine so it will not operate on conventional 110 volt power and so that's a great versatility and a great option that the TIG Weld 200SX offers its users. So thanks again for spending a few minutes of your day with us to take a look at the Hobart Easy TIG 165i and the TIG Weld 200SX by Longevity. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back here often to see more informative videos like this in the future. So thanks again and have a great day.